Hi everybody, it's a pleasure to talk with you again about narrowband IoT and today especially focusing on one characteristic of narrowband IoT, it's about low costs. My name is Dominic Schneiders, I'm the program manager for narrowband IoT at Deutsche Telekom. Well first of all, just to set the frame, narrowband IoT is a new mobile network and this network was designed especially to support IoT devices. Some of these IoT devices you can find here in the pictures. We launched Narrowband IoT in June 2017 in Germany and in the Netherlands and additionally we are preparing to roll out Narrowband IoT in further countries. Now Narrowband IoT is indeed a mass volume business. It's about to support billions of devices. Therefore, low cost is essential and every cent counts. How do we do that? Well, first of all, it's about simplicity. In another YouTube video, we talked about low data rates and low data volumes. Now, with these low data rates and low data volumes, we can achieve a simplification in the devices, but as well in our networks. And this simplification leads to lower cost. Let me give an example for that. In the device, the diversity was left away. And with that, you can reduce the bill of materials. There were further improvements, like for example, in the protocols. With narrowband IT, we transport the data directly in the control plane and not in the user plane. This leads to a higher spectrum efficiency because we don't have the overhead for establishing a communication and then sending a low amount of data. We can put it directly into the, use, into the control plane. And also, it's about scaling. Now, narrowband IT is supported uh, by a lot of MNOs, and just to point out, the three Chinese mobile operators, they all decided to go for narrowband IoT. Now, with this huge amount of IoT devices in the Chinese markets, but additionally also in Europe and in the US, the scaling will reduce overall costs. And therefore, narrowband IoT is about low costs in the modules and about low costs in connectivity. If you want to learn more about narrowband IoT, please watch our webinar, Narrowband IT, How Far Have We Come? Please follow us on Xing, LinkedIn or Twitter or come to our website. Thank you very much.